Hello, today I will show you top 15 things to do in Air for Germany. So let's start with the number one, Augustiner Kloster. A prime stop on Germany's Luther Trail, this Augustinian monastery is where Martin Luther became a monk and stayed between 1505 and 1511. Luther returned many times, including in 1521 when he gave a sermon here against the theology of the Catholic Church. You can visit the reconstruction of Luther's cell and find out more about his relationship with Erfurt at the monastery exhibition. The complex itself dates to the end of 13th century and much of the architecture was completed in the first decades of the 14th century. Erfurt Cathedral. The cathedral is unbelievably rich with medieval art. Starting with the 18 meter tracer windows in the high chair, which are almost all original and were fitted between 3070 and 4020. The oak stalls in the chair are, are also exceptional, carved in the 3060s and with 89 seats in twin 70.5 meter rows. There is a stockery table depicting the Virgin and Child from 1160 and the astonishing wall from candelabra from dating to around the same time. Number 3. Kramerbrücke Merchants Bridge. An enchanting slice of medieval history, the Kramerbrücke is a bridge lined with half timbered houses crossing a branch of the river Gera. At 79 meters, it's the longest medieval bridge in Europe to have inhabited houses. These quaint old merchants' houses are now galleries, cafes, antique shops, ateliers, wine merchants, delicatessens and boutiques, while the upper floors are apartments. Number 4. Venige Markt. At the eastern end of the Kranbrücke is another cute square which has roughly the same proportions as fish marked on the opposite bank of the Jura. The Agidian Kirche on the north side of the square is the eastern bridgehead for the Kramlbuke and in its current form dates to around the 16th century. In good weather the square is taken up by bar and restaurant seating and at Christmas Venige marked becomes a small village of stalls illuminated by fairly lights. Number 5. Fishmarkt. West of Kramerbrücke is Fishmarkt, which was the social center of the city in the Middle Ages. The first town hall was built here in 1275 and its current neo-gothic building from 1875 is on the exact same plot. Number 6. Domplatz. The largest square in the city is the grand 3.5 hectare plaza below the cathedral. In the morning from Monday to Saturday, there is a market selling fruit and vegetables, sausages, eggs, honey, cheese and exotic delicacies. The square's market tradition could be as old as the 8th or 9th century. Domplatz is also the main location for Airport's excellent Christmas market in December. Number 7. Ega Park. Once dominated by a fortress, this 265 meter hill to the southwest of Airport became a public park in the 1880s and has been expanded since then. The largest ornamental flower bed in the country is here, boasting 150,000 flowers in spring. Number 8. Zitadel Petersburg. Taking up 12 hectares right on the Petersburg Hill in the center of Erfurt is the largest and best preserved Baroque city fortress in Central Europe. There are 8 bastions linked by a 2 km parapet wall which reaches heights of 23 meters and has wonderful vistas of the city. 
Under these walls are counter means, a system of tunnels to prevent means made by attackers during sieges. You can go underground to see them on tours organized by the tourist office. The citadel was founded in 1665 by the Archbishop Elector of Mines and was later used by the Prussian Empire. Number 9. Anger Museum Erfurt's Art Museum is one of the city's most beautiful buildings. A baroque early 18th century facility for packing and weighing at the central Anger Square. The museum has an extensive reserve of fine arts and applied art from the Middle Ages to the present day. Number 10. Predike Kirche. If you still have an appetite for religious architecture, the Predike Kirche Preacher's Church will keep you fascinated for an hour or so. This former monastery church was founded in 12,000s and upgraded in the late Gothic style in the 1300 and 14,000s. In 1989, the Pedigree Kirche was Erfurt's meeting place for protesters during the peaceful revolution. In October of that year, one new forum meeting in the church drew up to 4,000 participants. Number 11. Old Synagogue Going back as far as the thousands, Erfurt's Old Synagogue could be the best preserved medieval synagogue in Europe. Most of the architecture is from the 13th century, but its history as a place of worship ends abruptly in 1349, when Erfurt's Jewish community was massacred and expelled from the city. In 2009, the old synagogue opened as, as a museum enriched with artifacts found around Erfurt during excavations. Number 12. Gedenk und Binnenstadt Andreas Strache. On Andreas Strache, there is a former meditation center run by the Stasi in the days of GDR. More than 5,000 political opponents were imprisoned here. In December 2013, an exhibition established here on three floors with restored prison cells, archive photos and video in which first-hand witnesses give accounts of the detention center as well as the events of 4 December 1989. Number 13. Erinnerung sort Topf und during the war, the company had supplied the ovens and ventilation equipment for the gas chambers at Auschwitz. In that sense, this site is unique because it is the only place where the complicity of private companies in the Holocaust has been remembered. There is an exhibition on the top floor of the building and this has some interesting items like telegrams showing direct communication with SS officials and documents confirming orders and delivery of the equipment. Number 14. Turinger Zoo Park Erfurt. Erfurt Zoo has almost 350 different animal species and prides itself in its big African mammals. There are lions, giraffes and white rhinoceroses, while in 2014 the zoo opened a massive new habitat for African elephants. You can observe them indoors and outside in an environment landscaped with rocks and pools. Another expensive habitat is Africa savanne, where zebras, ostriches, impalas and antelopes occupy the same enclosure. Number 15 and the last one, Thuringer Bratwurst. A Thuringer Bratwurst is thin up to 20 cm long and has a famous famously spicy flavor. The blend of pork and beef is seasoned with garlic, pepper, marjoram, caraway and occasionally coriander and nutmeg. By law, more than half of the sausage's ingredients must have been produced in Thuringia. The sausage will be cooked over charcoal and served in a round roll so that 
the ends of the sausage poke out from each side. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.